Hey, 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 scrappy people. Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a quick and easy process video in my Road to Recovery series about my first infusion of biologics to treat my, um, my immune disorder, my, my torturer for the rest of my life. And today I am going to be using a collection from Clever Monkey Graphics, oh, Tracy Monette, over at Sweet Shop Designs. It is called My Chronic Life and it is a older collection. It's like from 2022 and it covers basically the gamut of any chronic illness you can possibly think of. Um, and it's fun. It's not whimsical, but it's nice and sarcastic, and it was perfect for this page. So I've started by printing a couple of papers from the collection. Now that blue paper already had the string attached to it. This is a very sort of mixed media style collection, but I did add those star mixed media stamps before I printed. And then on the right hand side, I added some more string that was a bit in the digital kit, some paint and my journaling. So I have pre-printed everything um, that I wanted to use on this collection or on this page. And I'm going to um, start layering things together. I do want to keep this fairly simple. Um, I mean, it's not, but it is because the illusion of all of that texture that I have already printed really helps to um, set the stage in an easy way for me to create this page and make it look nice and busy without having to add too much more to it. I do really like this frame so I'm going to be using it over the top of my photo but I'm only using one photo so instead of adding a second photo to the second frame I'm going to be using it as a sort of a base for some word art title sort of a thing. Oh, so cute. So I really enjoyed this collection. I can see myself using it a lot um, because there are some other bits and pieces that I wanted to use that didn't make it on this page because they weren't. I wasn't in the middle of a flare in this page. I was getting medicine. So some of them are really like flare and pain related and I'm sure that I'll be using those someday when <laughs> I have to um, unfortunately document those. I wished that there had been an IV in this collection because I'm obviously getting IV meds, but the syringe is second best and I love how it's like wrapped with flowers and it's pink. It matches the, the page pretty well. And then this word art is super fun too. It says immune, autoimmune disease because the only thing tough enough to kick my butt is me. <laughs> which I just thought was funny. You got to find humor in the hard stuff. So I'm going to put this around right here and then I'm going to use it as a sort of placeholder foundation for my title as well. Now for my title, I'm going to be doing my fun faux thicker trick where I have printed out a bunch of copies, well three copies, of my titles and I'm going to layer them together so that they are nice and thick and they, they kind of give that faux thicker look so that um, you get a little bit more depth on the page. It's a really simple way to just add a little bit more texture without having to add any more bits and pieces to your page. Um, I, I like to use texture a lot in my layouts and I will rough up edges and I will add string and I will add stitching and all kinds of things. But when I want to keep things simple and just create to sort of get my emotions out and the catharsis that I need um, and I don't want to get too overly involved doing tricks like this where you're just printing and cutting three of the same thing basically um, but creating a little bit more depth is a fun way to do it so I gotta get those dots above my eyes I posted a video recently and I will link it in the comment section below about how I print and cut these letters from digital kits as titles, how I add the stroke so that everything can kind of print as one piece or at least close to one piece <laughs> um, and make it easier to put it together on the layout. Now to get to work on the other side, the first thing I'm going to do, well, 
these are going to go on both sides but the first thing i'm going to do is stick these double flowers together so again just like the thickers i have printed two copies of these flowers and i'm sticking them together just in the middle so that they have some movement and give some visual interest to the page they'll like kind of float away from the page a little bit so if you're feeling like things are a little bit flat this is a good way to get some depth this little voodoo doll is so fun uh, I'm putting it next to this rainbow that says I feel like shit <laughs> and then underneath it's going to say whoever has my voodoo doll could you please lay off or something like that please give it a rest I just thought that that was so funny I had to use this icon there is another um, like care bear that says flare bear in the collection like as in like a chronic illness flare up that I wanted to use too but I thought that the voodoo doll was more appropriate for this page so I can't wait to use the flare bear one later I did add my some journaling to some of these bits and pieces before I printed them so on that like price tag it says let's go Remicade do your best work I thought the price tag was appropriate because treating these uh, chronic diseases is not cheap which is pretty horrifying considering how many people suffer from chronic illness but the price tag was right and then I added the date to that little tag I put over the photo as well last but not least I'm going to put all of these flowers everywhere give it a little bit of an upbeat peppy ending <laughs> to this very sarcastic layout. I really, I like uh, snark a lot when I am um, scrapbooking tough things. I'm a snarky person to begin with, so it works really well for me. But I'm going to add some little girly bling to the centers of these flowers just to cover up the printed bling, make it a little sparkly here and there. And I'm just matching the colors to what was already there as closely as possible. And that'll do it for this page. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy Amreed. I'd love to see you there as well. There is a link to this collection in the description box below. And I will see you next time. Thank you.